Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a lip swatch video today just for the fun of it. I have 11 new um, lipsticks or glosses and they are by Essence. Some of them and the rest of them. These glosses by Essence retail for only $3.99 each at Ulta. Or you could go, if you don't have an Ulta near you, you can just go to the website and purchase them. But I'm going to just um, swatch each of them for you. And they're one of my favorites. And um, I've used every, I've used high end and drugstore and these perform high end to me. So anyways, I'm just going to tell you the name and show you how it looks basically. Okay, so the, we're gonna be going lightest to darkest. And this is the first one. And she's called number 17, Let It Go. So maybe it came out during um, the Disney movie. So they smell like a minty cupcake actually. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the, I'm using, I'm filming on my camera phone, my phone camera. So if you see me looking, not at the camera, I'm using it to, sh to apply it. Okay, so just kind of hot. One coat, and yes, they are buildable. And they're not goopy. This one has little bit, bits of silver glitter. Okay, so that's how she looks and she is the lightest color and kind of a peachy color let's see right there very nice peachy so this would be good on top of a nude and then i'll wipe it off because i'm gonna show you the next one this would be good on its i mean i like to wear them on on, on their own um as you get older, lighter colors look better on you. That's what, obviously you can wear whatever you want to wear, but as an aesthetic, lighter color, lighter lip colors look better on um, mature lips. I would say 40 and up. Okay, that's what the fashion industry tells us. But from my own personal experience, I used to love darker colors and every time I put a darker color on, I usually wipe it off because I think it looks kind of silly. Again, wear whatever you want. Anyway, so that was number one. All right, I don't wanna make this deathly long, so we're gonna hop right into number two. And number two is called Smile, Sparkle, Shine. This is number two, and we're gonna wipe that off. Again, if anyone's tried these, um, let me know, because if you have a color that I don't have, I may want it. Anyway, so this is the second color, and it is a very light pink. Nice big applicator. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, that is a really pretty color. Looks good with a tan. Again, light pink. So it looks. And I already wiped it off the other color, so they don't burn, they don't plump, but it kind of looks like plumping. I've never had any lip injectables or any surgeries like that. So I do feel that there is some volume with these. Okay. So this color, light pink. Wow. One coat, two coat. That is so gorgeous. I kind of think mod 60s. I like that one a whole lot. Okay, wipe it off the hand, wipe it off. Okay, the next color is Purple Rain, number four. Purple Rain, and this one I've had the longest, so it's like right up to there. And I've probably used it maybe 15 times. Purple Rain. Just like the movie for my 80s babies. Purple Rain. Looks really pretty. There we go. One coat and two coat. 
Purple Rain. There we go. I've really never done this before, so I'm sorry if it's not very profesh. And again, it's just for fun. Hmm. Okay. I have several purples. This one's called Bright On, number six, Bright On. And it looks like it has a lot more glitter than the last one. But that said, it's not glittery where you feel like little granules or like sand on your mouth. Not that much, not, not that glittery at all. Like I don't feel that at all actually, so. Okay, similar to the last one, maybe one shade darker than the last one. Again, this one is number six, Bright On. And the other one in comparison, there we go. So this one definitely has more purple in it. And this is more mauve. And I don't think I did a swatch yet. Okay. Ooh, lots of pigment, more pigment in this one. Okay. Alrighty, wipe that off and wipe it off. There we go. Next one looks like it has no glitter whatsoever. It's a cream gloss. It's number five, so into it. Maybe I should do this one first because the other one was number six. I guess I could have went in color order, but I did light, I'm doing light to darkest. Okay, again, this is so into it number five, and it is a true light plum purple. Okay. Ooh. Okay. A cream. Ugh. I don't like this one as much as the others. I think I prefer the glitter, not the cream. And I think it's because it feels a little more goopy, but I think it's just because I went in heavy handed. I hope that looks okay. <laughs> okay. So right now, out of all the ones that I've showed you, this is my least favorite, but you might like it. <laughs> Alrighty. Five more to go. Okay, and I don't even know if I, I don't think I swatched it on my hand yet, so let me just backtrack here. Ooh, skips. Yeah, and kind of patchy as you see. So, that's that color. Okay, I'm moving right along. This one is part of the Prisma Glow. Prisma Glow, and it is called For a Night Out, number 11. And it has a tiny, tiny bit of prism, not glitter, in it. So let's try her out. Wow. What a mess. It's pretty. Um. I find it too dark for me, but again, you might like it, I, just personally. It just looks too dark, but that's the way that looks. And let me swatch her. Okay. It sure is pretty, it's a beautiful color. <laughs> Alrighty, moving right along. I have four more. I have two hot pink ones, one creamy mauve, and one red. Uh, red is my least favorite color for lips. Next is Happiness in a Bottle, number seven. Creamy mauve pink, no glitter. Ooh. Ooh. 
I really like that. That's really pretty. Looks like an everyday color. Um, basically, this would be a color if you don't, you can't decide what color. You're getting ready to go out the door. Or maybe just throw this one in your purse and have this as your purse color to touch up. Yep, a pretty kind of muted pink. And that's how she looks. Again, all of these can be found at Ulta.com or in store Ulta at any essence setup. And they retail for $3.99 each, which is a steal. And many times essence goes on sale, buy one, get one half off, which makes it even cheaper. So, okay. Okay. Glittery one, and this one is called Friends of Glamour number three. Friends of Glamour. Really, really pretty. And looking at it, I just think 80s. Okay. Really pretty. I love it. Very pretty color. And let's swatch her. Oof. Okay. Semi sheer, but buildable. Glossy, but not goopy. Cool tone. Mm. So that's how that one looks. If you're not looking for like a lot of color, that one would be really good for like a starter one, but you like glitter. Friends of Glamour. Number three, if you don't want a lot of color, but you want a little sparkle. Last two. Okay. I'm going to need a good chapstick after this. Okay, so these are the only two dark colors that I got. This is Flirt Alert number four. It looks heavily pigmented. I haven't tried it yet. Dark pink. And then I have a red, so... Okay, so brand new and not as dark as I thought. Again, I'm no expert. <laughs> so lip products are my favorite, so I do tend to hoard them. <laughs> and this is again, number four, Flirt Alert. And let's swatch her. I like this a lot too. I didn't think I was going to. I thought it was going to be way too dark, but nope. Very pretty. So it is pigmented. Uh, it's more pigmented than all the other pinks, but yeah, it's definitely not dark. Um, I would say it lends more to a cool tone. Blue undertones, I would say. Um, and I'm neutral, so I'm actually really surprised that I like it, but I really like it a whole lot. <laughs> so... Very windy outside if you hear anything. That is the wind. Okay. And not very glamorous. Okay. The last one is Red Carpet Starlet, number 13. Red Carpet Starlet. And that's what she looks like. And I'm expecting this to be really scary. <laughs> okay. Yeah, really scary. And slopped it any old way. There we go. It's, I am awful at applying red lipsticks. Uh, if I were to wear this, I would use a lip liner, even though it's a gloss. It still looks sloppy, but again, I'm just looking in my camera phone. So you, get, you probably see the mess and I don't. Okay, so that's a bold red, and um, I, I always feel like red makes your teeth look yellow. I don't know, I could be just imagining it, but that's how she looks, red. So, okay, let's swatch her. No, I don't like it. Okay, um, if you're a brunette, I think you would love this because brunettes look bomb in red, so. 
Ooh, one swatch. Not even gonna do two swatches. You get the gist. Holy smokes. Okay. Again, this is Red Carpet Starlet number 13. And again, this is just 10 colors. I'm gonna say they had 30 to 40 different colors. <laughs> Obviously, I couldn't buy them all, but that is the gist. I was trying to just purchase ones that I knew I would wear, and I think out of all of those, if I were to wear this red, I would uh, go like that. If you wanna to tone it down, you kinda of kiss a tissue or something, and it, it kinda of leaves just like a light, light, light stain, so it kinda of gives, it lends to a red, but it's not a bold lip. So I would probably do that or just use a lighter tap tap, lighter hand if I were to use that one. And then that one pink one also that I, I thought was a little too dark for my taste, but you may like it. So I did want it to just appeal to all skin types, everybody's complexion and all that. So that's why I got an array of colors. So anyways, again, you could find any of these at Ulta or Ulta.com and they retail for only $3.99. And if you download the Ulta app, um, and check it, you'll see the sales. Essence always has sales or go to the Essence website. And um, yeah, Essence is an awesome brand. I feel like it's underrated. Um, I don't really hear anyone talking about it. I know there's a million, you know, trillion videos, but, and there are Essence videos up. I'm not saying that, but it's just not a very heavily talked about brand. And I feel like it should be because I have some also, some of their eyeshadow palettes and mascaras, and I've never had an Essence product that I thought was trash or anything. So it's a fabulous brand. Anyways, okay, thank you for watching. Um, my name is Michelle, I don't know if I said that, and I do appreciate you tuning in. Have a nice day, bye-bye.